Everybody knows that getting recurring donors for your nonprofit is better than getting one-time donors. But if your website can't take online recurring donations, then you're missing out on an opportunity to make your nonprofit more sustainable. So in this video, we're gonna fix this. I'm gonna show you how to add recurring donations to your GiveWP donation form. All right, let's get started. First, you're going to have to have GiveWP installed on your website. And in order to do that, you need to have a WordPress website. So if you don't have a WordPress website, then this video is not for you. If you do have a WordPress website and you need to get GiveWP, it's a free plugin and you can see our video on it right up there. Having said that, let's go ahead and get started. First, I just want to show you a donation form that does not have recurring donations on it. So you can see what it looks like. This is a basic GiveWP donation form. And as you can see, it has places where you can check the amounts you want to donate, fill in your information, and of course, donate here down at the bottom. When we add the recurring donation option, it's going to show up right below the amount donated. So the GiveWP recurring donations add-on is not part of the free version of GiveWP. So in order to have recurring donations, you're going to have to go and get the premium license that's offered at GiveWP. I'll have links for that and information on it down below in the description. Having said that, once you have your license from GiveWP, you're going to want to go ahead and log into your dashboard at GiveWP. And once you've done that, you'll be able to go to your licensing area, which is right here in the dashboard, and you'll be able to copy the license key. This license key was probably emailed to you as well when you first signed up. Once you have that license key copied, you're going to go into your WordPress website. You're going to go down to Donations, and then you're going to go to Settings. On the settings page, you'll go over to the license tab and click there. And at which point at the top of the page, you'll see the opportunity to activate your license by simply pasting your license key in the box here and clicking activate. So go ahead and do that. Once your license is activated, you should see a box down below here. Mine is already activated. That lets you know that license is active and receiving updates. Also, you'll notice that you now have access to a lot of different add-ons that GiveWP offers. We're going to scroll down and find the Give Recurring add-on, which is right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to download it. Simply click download. This will open up the folder system on your operating system. Simply pick where you want to download it to and click save. Once you have the add-on downloaded, go ahead and scroll back up to the license page and you'll see here is an area where you can upload and activate the add-ons. You can either select the file by clicking this button or simply open the folder that the add-on is in, take the add-on and drag it into this box. This will upload your add-on to the website. Once the add-on is uploaded, you need to simply activate it. You should get a little green success message here that tells you that it's been activated. And then what you simply need to do is refresh this page either by hitting refresh on your browser or just going to another tab. I'm simply going to click general. Now that you've done that, you should see over on the right hand side, you have a new tab called recurring donations. But don't let this fool you. This tab actually doesn't really give you any information on how to connect this to your page. The recurring donations tab is simply a resource with links to information on recurring donations. So to activate recurring donations on your forms, you simply need to go to your forms area and activate it. And this is how you do that. Under donations, you go to all forms, then you select the form that you want to activate it on. You may only have one form, which is fine. Simply click on the form name or click edit. Now you should be in the actual donation form settings area. On the left hand side, you want to click donation options. And once you do that, you're going to see that you now have several different recurring donation options available. First, you want to make sure that it is turned on. By default, it's usually on disabled, so make sure it is turned on. Recurring donations uh, donor's choice is what we have selected now. By selecting donor's choice, you're giving the donor the option to choose the amount of money that they will have recurring. If you simply pick admin, maybe you have a membership and it's just $100 per year and there's no other choices, you can click the admin defined and select the amount and options, monthly, annual, etc., that you want to have for that recurring donation. We're going to leave it at donor's choice. If you look down below, you have recurring period. And this is basically whether it is a monthly, annual, weekly, quarterly, or whatever. How often is this going to recur? I like to leave that at donor's choice as well, but you can certainly have a preset period. Maybe you only want to do yearly recurring donations, in which case you'd have a preset period, but we're going to leave it at donor's choice just so you can see what that looks like. Recurring options tab, 
here. We're going to set this at annual, but again, this isn't going to matter any since we have donor's choice here. They're going to be able to change this as they like. And then down below that, you can decide whether you want the checkbox for recurring donations to either be pre-checked or not. I usually leave this unchecked and then give the donor the option to check it. Once you have those settings done, you can go ahead and update the page over here on the right. Great, now that that form is updated, we're going to go ahead and look at it on the front end of the website. And as you can see, we now have a make this donation every, and they have the option to choose month, week, or year. And simply by checking that, this donation will now be a, in this case, a monthly $10 donation. So let's go back in here. I'm just going to do uh, one setting change so you can see what that looks like. We're going to change this recurring period to a preset period, and we're going to make this a monthly one. And that way, the recurring option will no longer be a choice. We'll go ahead and update that, and I'll show you what that looks like. Go ahead and refresh this page. And so then you can see here the option to make it monthly, weekly, or annually is gone. And this is simply going to be a, in this case, a $20 monthly donation. GiveWP gives you a fairly good description of what each of these buttons does simply by reading the text below each option. So if you have any questions, just read through these descriptions here and that will give you a good idea of what the options are. And that's it, folks. It's that simple to add recurring donations to your website. Now, the question is, is it worth it to purchase a license from GiveWP in order to add recurring donations to your website? Well, that depends on your nonprofit. Think of it this way. If you got two or three recurring donations, then this would most likely pay for the licensing fee of GiveWP. Plus, if you get the license for GiveWP, you get a myriad of other add-ons. You're not just getting a donation page that can do recurring donations. You're basically getting a full donor donation management system built right into your website, something that people usually pay thousands of dollars for. I'll make sure I link to this below so you can see all the different options available, and you can make the decision on whether this is worth it for you or not. All right, folks, that's it for this video. Hey, I really appreciate you watching. And hey, if you got something out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like that, be sure to subscribe down there below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. I do reply to most all the questions and comments that I get. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Bye.